In an earlier demo, I created a database availability group, and in this demo, we're just going to have a look at the various ways that we can monitor our database availability group. So the first way we'll do is we'll have a look at the Exchange Admin Center. So I'm in my Exchange Admin Center. I've highlighted my databases tab, and I've highlighted my mailbox database one here. We can see it's active on server MBX1, and we can see servers with copies are MBX1 and MBX2. That's so what we're going to do here is we're just going to click on View Details. And on the view details here, we can see that we have an issue with, uh, at this point here, we have an issue with our index. I'm not too fussed about that, to be perfectly honest. I know how to fix that one. So if we have a look at the database, we've got mailbox database one, we've got lon mbx one. We do have an issue currently with our index, but like I said, I can fix that. Under the status here, I'm currently mounted. Now what we could have here in the case of this status here, we could have healthy, initializing, failed, mounted, dismounted, disconnected, suspended, and failed, suspended, resynchronizing, or seeding as well. We can see the current copy queue length is zero, replay lag queue length is zero, uh, no error messages, that's good, and latest available log time is, well, everything's happy here as well, so no problems there with never, 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 and activation preference in this point here, as it mentions here, this is used as part of the active manager's best copy selection. So, and the active manager will then decide exactly which copy to take over. And my replay lag time, which I set up in the previous demo, is set to zero. So we're happy with all of this. Now, another way that we can monitor the health of our database copy is to use the exchange management shell. So let's just launch that up. And here we go, we're into our exchange management shell. So what we'll do here is we'll just clear the screen off here. And what we'll do is we'll just issue a command let the test for replication health. Now I'm expecting I might get an error because I've only replicated one of the databases. I haven't replicated all of them, but we'll have a look and see what pops up. And the command I'm going to issue here is the test hyphen replication health. So we'll hit enter. And what it'll do is it'll go away. It's going to test everything. And yep. We've got most of everything has passed here. We do have a couple of fail, but like I said, I was expecting this in the case of the fail because I'm not replicating every single database. I'm only replicating mailbox database one. All right, so let's just clear the screen off here. All right, so the next little command that we'll just issue here is we'll just issue the get hyphen mailbox database copy status hyphen server lon hyphen mbx1. We'll hit enter at this point here. I'm expecting a couple of fails again purely because of the index, but we'll just click uh, enter here. So we can see that currently mailbox database one, lon mbx1 is mounted, and research hyphen lon mbx1 is also mounted as well. Now we also have a little script called check database redundancy and what this does is it just gives us information about the redundancy of the mailbox database so let's just issue that command as well that's what i've done here is i've just changed into program files microsoft exchange server v15 scripts and now what i'm going to do here is just run my check database redundancy ps1 i'm going to run that against mailbox database name mailbox database one so just hit enter and see what happens Right, so if we just have a look at this, we can see that we've got database name, mailbox database one, redundancy count zero, current redundancy count, we've actually got two, so that was the last one, this is the current, last state, currently unknown, but current state is green, that's good, that means everything's up and running, and we've got some information just relating to transition times and, and so on down this list here. So, everything looks good, everything's up and running, and that's the end of this very quick demonstration of looking at how we can use both the Exchange Admin Center and the Exchange Management Shell to check for health status of our database availability group. Thank you.